is part of the spirit of God. There is no body on earth that is as intelligent as the Holy Ghost. When you trust the Holy Ghost, many of you are carrying books, many of you are carrying consultancy companies, many of you are carrying things inside you that music inside you. Many of you are carrying a lot of gifts that God has given unto you. But it will take you a relationship with the Spirit of God that it will start to teach you everything and it will start to show you how you can manifest it to the world because they are there to be a blessing to the world. They are there to be a blessing to the world. Let's go to Psalm 119 again, verse 18, to show you what I'm saying. Psalm 119, verse 18. Hallelujah. Open thou my eyes, I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. It is the spirit that opened our eyes. Reading the Bible is not enough for you to understand what it, it takes you allowing the spirit of God to show you the true covenant of God. It takes meditating on this covenant. And as you meditate on it, Holy Ghost will start to show you. That was what God told Joshua. You remember Joshua? God told Joshua, said, Joshua, don't be discouraged because Joshua was someone who was discouraged. He was discouraged. Joshua saw all the wonders and miracles that God did to the children of Israel, for the children of Israel in the, in the ministry of Moses, open the Red Sea. Send man and send quiller, and yet they were complaining. And when Moses died, God said, Joshua, you are the next thing. Joshua said, How ah, am I the Lord? Am I going to do all that Moses did? They didn't even profit, they didn't even obey. What do you think I'm going to do? God said, I'm going to just meditate on what I told Moses. Talk about it, don't talk about the fear around you, don't talk about it disobedience of the people. Just talk on the war, but before you talk on the war, you are going to meditate on this war. And as you start to meditate the war, which is the Spirit of God, will start to reveal to you. He said, whatever you observe, it, it, that particular scripture is my best scripture. That and Numbers 19, 23. God is not a man of Israel. I love those two scriptures. Because at the end, God told Joshua, look Joshua, where you meditate and observe and do, success is inevitable. Manifestation is inevitable if you do. Many of us we don't do, we observe what we don't do. But God told Joshua, if you want to manifest, if you want to have success, do what I reveal to you. Hallelujah. And the only way Holy Ghost can lead us into the knowledge of the spiritual things is when we give him time. First is war and prayer and meditation. This three things. Holy Ghost love when we give him time in prayer, give him time in the world, give him time in meditation. Any Christian who can give time to these three things, prayer, word, meditation, you will surely succeed. You will surely manifest. Write it down as you are listening to me. I said any Christian who will give his time to prayer, to the word and meditation, he will surely manifest. You know why? These are the keys. You remember when the enemy came into the first church, the apostle said, let's give administration to men of noble character and faith, but let's give ourselves to prayer and ministry of the world. And when they did, they manifested. When they did, Holy Ghost took over. If they did it, yes, we can. And you're watching me right now, wherever you're watching, you can. Rise up. Amen? Rise up, you can do it. Meditation. Why meditation? Because so I've been talking about meditation. We've talked about discovery through the spirit. Why now meditation? You see, let me show you what meditation does. Meditation strengthens your mind. Meditation equips you with strength. Meditation reveals things. Meditation is just simply, it's necessary because true meditation details are being revealed. It is a process of digestion which leads to absorption and assimilation of the premises. It is meditation that reveals how, where, when, and who. Can I explain that? It is meditation that when God gives you a revelation and you start to meditate, meditation will ensure the Bible will not tell you who you are going to get married to or the kind of food you are going to eat. That meditation in the world will start to reveal that. The Bible does not tell you who you are going to walk with, but meditation will reveal that to you. Many of us were working with wrong people. That's why we can't manifest. Many of us, we have wrong people in our things. I'm not talking about only ministry, but wherever you are, whatever you are doing. 
As you meditate, God will start to reveal to you the true people who to walk with. Let me tell you this, your destiny is not in heaven. Heaven have released all. Believe. Can I repeat that? Heaven, have, because Jesus said it is finished. Whatever God has blessed you with today is made right into the hands of someone. And until you know how to connect to that person, you cannot get it. But the Holy Ghost will start to reveal to you how to do it. Amen? He will start to reveal to you how to do it. Amen? Let's go for it. Meditation strengthens the mind to make the rightful choice when temptation arises. You see, many would have failed in life because when temptation comes, the pressures of life when it comes, their emotion can't stand it. And they make right wrong decision because of the pressure. And let me tell you something. That's why I said before that your mind is a control center. Whatever choice you make in life, you are going to end up either in a right destination or the wrong destination. That is why it is very dangerous to make decisions in times of crisis. That's why it is wrong to make sure when you are under pressure. But if you are the kind of person that meditates on the word of God, the Holy Ghost will tell you that don't make decisions now. You see, many people that are divorced in life today is because pressure came and the only thing they can do is let's separate. But a child of God who meditates on the word of God, the first thing the Holy Ghost will tell you, God hit demons. That stops that issue. The next thing will tell you, there is always a solution. You see, he's taking it away from that negative direction. And as he or she yield to the voice and start to meditate on what the Holy Ghost is telling him or her, you see, he will take it far away from wrong destination. But people that their mind is void, the mind is of the mind of the devil, what happens when the time comes, the only thing they just see is what is happening around them. They make their own choice because their mind is unable to carry the burden because the mind is empty because the power of the word of God is not in their mind. And once that decision is made, they are going to end up. Because wrong choice brings you to wrong destination. That is why meditation is powerful. So remember that the Holy Ghost is not going to make a decision for you. And it's not his job. It is the job of your mind to make the rightful decision because that is the control center of life. He can strengthen you, but decision is your responsibility. Unrenewed mind makes wrong decision, which ends up in wrong attitude, which ends up in wrong action, and leads to wrong destination. Unrenewed mind. People in the church have failed so much because we develop the spirit man so much. And let the mind we decide how we end up in this world. That is the truth. Listen, if it's possible for you to listen to the whole church message on Sunday, you'll find less than 5% teaching of mind. Less than many. Should check books. How many books do you see on earth today that teaches on the mind? Christian books. We talk about the Holy Ghost, which is very good. We talk about the Spirit Man, which is very good. But we forget that the control center of life is the mind where the emotion is dead, where the willpower is, and where the thought is. The soul. We forget that place. That is time we start to develop people. That is why you see people born again of the Spirit of God 30 years, 40 years in the church, but yet they still behave like the devil. Why? The control center is not yet really. That is why this message is coming to you. And that is why if the minister of God and you come in contact with this message, it's, it's time for us to start to deal with the mind of the people that we minister to. Because their mind must be conformed to the word of God before they can manifest. If not, you are going to carry babies that are supposed to be grandfathers and mothers spiritually to other people. Let's go for it. Hallelujah. I love this topic. Amen. I hope you enjoy it. Hallelujah. Man has a free will, and whatever decision your mind makes, God will not stop you. This is why you must develop your mind through meditation to be able to make the right decision that will channel what was revealed by the story. Until the mind is removed, the right decision cannot be made. Excuse me.
renewed mind makes the rightful decision. And as you make the rightful decision, what will happen? You will end up in the right destination. You will manifest. You will be a blessing to the world. Even when you leave this world, your work will be still speaking to the next generation. But if you take first of all, you must discover who you are. And you must be determined to finish up. You see, when Paul discovered who he was, he stopped being religious. And he was determined, no matter what happened to him, he was determined to finish up. And when he finished, he called Timothy and said, Timothy, I'm ready to leave. I'm to leave the job. Till today, Paul is still manifesting. Without Paul, I'm coming up. Teach what I was all the things I'm teaching. My question to you today, have you discovered where God have gone? Some of you that have discovered, there is no need to play game any longer. Because look at the whole world, today. look at what is happening in America today. Look at what is happening all over the world. Flood, fire, everywhere. Read the Bible, the Bible make mention of all these things. The end time is very close. And yet many of us, we have not even started what God has called us to do. When are you going to start? Make up your mind today to take time to relate with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make up your mind to relate with the Spirit of God. Amen. He will show you what God has called you to do. Make up your mind to take this word of God. It's a mind to read. Meditate on it. And then we start to digest and assimilate and absorb and show you how we and when, step by step, leading you to where God has gone to be. And then we start to manifest. That's what we mean by riding in the wings of His glory. It's no longer you. But when you have paid the price of prayer, the price of the Word of God, Holy Ghost will take over from you and start to carry you. Because the Bible says it's not by power, not by mind, it's by the Spirit of God. Jesus manifested, Isaac manifested, David, Paul, John Gilly, Smith Vigos one. Even till today, there are so many saints of God manifested. But the first thing they did, they discovered who they are in Christ. And when they discovered, they paid attention to the world. They meditated the world. The world become a life unto their feet. And they go step by step. And as every day they go from glory to glory. The glory from glory to glory. If they need it, we can. Yes, we can do it. We can find some of this teaching in my new book. We can. Yes, we can.